with our first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor and comedian you know from shows like Rescue Me and the Ice Age movies. You can see him in The Moody's, which airs Thursday nights on Fox. Let's take a look. Get this, okay? This got the guys, they want me to move up to the senior league. Well, you have been getting injured a lot. Mm. I leave it all out on the ice, honey. That's what I do, okay? Mm. Okay, you're making noises, Grace. Oh, no, no, no. It's actually very normal what you're going through. You know, we mm. struggle with um, transition as we mature. Okay, you, you can go in the office now. Actually, you know what, better yet, I'm going upstairs. Three steps at a time, okay? <laughs> Please welcome back to the show our friend Dennis Leary. How are you, Dennis? Hey, Seth. What's up, man? It's so great to see you. I want to talk about the show, but I also want to ask, I know your grown children uh, moved back home during the pandemic. Was that a wonderful thing uh, for your family, or uh, did it add some uh, stress to things? Uh, it was both, actually. <laughs> I'm not the, I can't be the only person who's, who said this to you, right? <laughs> yeah, it I mean, is. How I, old are your kids now? Your kids are tiny. Yeah, three and five. So it's really just been, it's been mostly upside for us because they, you know, they're just happy to have us around. Right. And also, you're, are you guys like doing some kind of homeschooling thing? Yeah. But, you know, uh, this will, I will not be the first person to say this either. Most of that burden has fallen on my wife, who has been uh, incredible with it. I'm just getting the, the best of it. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, try homeschooling grown adults, because that's basically <laughs> what we had to do to get them all home at the beginning of the pandemic. We felt like everybody felt, which is just so glad to have the family together. And it was going to be cool and fun. And, um, and that lasted for probably about two weeks. And then, <laughs> you know, it's human nature. You're gonna find this out much later from now, but you know, at a certain point, your kids, when they become teenagers, they don't think you're cool. But as my wife and I found out, when they're home with you and for an extended period when they're in their late twenties, they really don't think you're cool. <laughs> as a matter of fact, they actually start to treat you like, uh, like roommates. That's what happened. We were like, we woke up one day and it was like there was, you know, five roommates living in the house. That's what was going on. So they were just, you know, eating everything. And like, they're like, just like, you know, like we were equals to that. You know what I mean? I'll never forget this. Probably about two weeks in, I was watching something on television in the late afternoon. And my, uh, my daughter walked in and said, so we're, we're about to vote on dinner. And I was like, we're, what? We're gonna <laughs> vote? And she's like, yeah, and then we're going to vote on what we're going to binge watch tonight. And I'm like, vote? There's no voting. What are you talking about? This isn't a democracy. This is this is a monarchy. Okay, that's what this is. I'm the king. Actually, I'm not the king. I'm the prince. My wife is the queen. <laughs> Actually, I don't even have a vote. Nobody has a vote. Your mother says what goes on. So that's when they learned, like, there's no voting. Your mother decides, and then we all do what she wants to do. Okay? Unbelievable. So, uh, it doesn't surprise me that you would uh, choose projects that uh, are about family as well, uh, which this show is. This is a, a limited series, a second season of it. It revolves, it's a family, and it revolves around one event. Uh, first season was Christmas, this season's a wedding. And uh, it must be a fun show to make, because obviously you're someone who has always seen uh, the comedy and, and being part of a family. Well, it was also interesting because this second uh, season was built around the idea of a wedding that goes bad, which everybody finds out in the first like 15 seconds of the opening episode. But because of the timing, by, by the time we went to shoot it, um, the writers said, you know what we'll do is we'll make it sort of just post pandemic. So the idea was the kids actually, except for one, had actually left and then they came back and then, you know, for the pandemic and then they left again and then they came back again. So I actually had a lot to draw on from my own experiences with my own family. And if you're watching the show and the audience will pick up on it, they're, you know, it's the same thing. They're just, they're taking us for granted. They're, they're eating all our food. I mean, I know it's, it's, it's a funny thing. At a certain point when I was here with my own family, because they were eating everything, as a grown man, I was hiding cupcakes. I was doing that in my own house. I was hiding <laughs> cupcakes from my adult children because they were eating all my cupcakes, you know? I mean, going to the store was like, you know, I remember in the beginning of the pandemic, that was like a scouting mission in World War II. You had to have masks on and gloves, you know? Um, so when I went out to get the cupcakes, I'd bring back what I thought was enough, you know, for everybody and then wake up and they were all gone. So I hid cupcakes and I'm not proud of it, but I did it. 
I think there's that thing that happens where people sometimes will uh, look at someone like you and think, God, there's someone who hasn't made uh, an incredibly successful career. And it's very nice for you to share with them that you're just a man like any other who has to hide cupcakes. Oh, you listen, and you, you get, I am so, I'm not cool as a dad in the first place, but then I get criticized for, you know, everything. Everything I think about, you know, like I, one of the things I did during the course of the pandemic and the voting on dinner was they would get into these conversations, you know, voting on dinner for them, discussing it, would be like 45 minutes. And then the, the idea of picking something to watch was like that, an hour and a half just to find something that they all wanted to watch. So I would just sneak off and make a Paul Newman frozen pizza, which takes like 10 minutes, and watch a Paul Newman movie in my, in my own room, <laughs> in the bedroom. I would, and, and you know, it's like Paul Newman got me through the pandemic, basically. <laughs> but I actually remember when my kids were small. This is like what fame really, is how you sum it up. My kids had grown up; they were probably like 10, 12, and there was a bunch of cousins at my house. It's one night, and we were watching a Paul Newman movie, and one of the kids goes, "Hey, that Paul Newman chef guy was also an actor." And I was like, "Yeah, there you go. That's." That's Paul Newman's career. They thought he was a chef. That's, <laughs> that's what fame means. They, and of course it makes sense because they're looking at like, you know, his picture on frozen pizza boxes and salad dressing bottles, you know, so. My kids, of course, uh, their entire lives, I've, I've been on TV and, and so I'll FaceTime with them uh, right before I come out on do the show and I'll often be in the makeup chair. And, and you know, that's uh, something that we just have to go through. And uh, today I FaceTime with my kid and he had a, a friend was behind him. And so my kid's not surprised that I'm sitting there with somebody doing my hair, but I just watched his friend in the background go. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell's your what dad's the deal? Hell is going on? Hey, um, I do want to give a shout out. Uh, Chelsea Fry plays your daughter on the show. Yeah. And uh, 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 Chelsea uh, succeeded uh, in spite of the fact that she was an intern on this show when we first started. So we just want to give a shout out uh, to her um, on her success, and we're so happy uh, that you two are working together. You know, it's it's so weird, Seth, because I had no idea. She never told me that. And uh, so today, one of the people on your staff mentioned it, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. So I called Chelsea, and Chelsea said, yeah, I loved it. It was the greatest, blah, blah, blah. So, I, you know, it's just, it's such a small world in show business anyways, you know, but that's just, it's a point of fact, you know, how you, how you, you discover somebody who was working. I think she was like a music intern. She right? was a That's music intern. Said. It's also, yeah. uh, it really speaks to why anyone at any level, not just in show business, but anywhere, uh, should be very nice to their interns because they uh, they don't just, when it's over, they don't like go back in a box. They like- That's exactly right. They like, they continue on in life and they That's like right. maybe one day will speak about their experience. So if you're well, watching at you home something. and you have an is, I would have said this even if she hadn't been an intern at the Seth Meyers show, which I'm on tonight, right now. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, she, that entire cast is great. Elizabeth Perkins and Jay Baruchel, I think everybody was kind of aware of, you know, obviously Elizabeth's an amazing comedy god in my book, and so is Jay. But Chelsea's sort of like this surprise kind of unknown, and she's not unbelievably talented. Not only is she a great comic actress, you know, the, scene, the, the show goes back and forth between primarily comedy and some dra drama. She's a great dramatic actress. She's fantastic. I mean, she's, uh, I can't say enough about her. I love her. I love her. Well, uh, we're so happy. Uh, we're so happy for her. And uh, it's always so great seeing you, Dennis. Thanks so much for being here. The last time I saw you live, I think, was years ago. I, I, one time vaxxed. I'm fully vaxxed as, as of tomorrow. So the next time I'm going to come in, hopefully, to the studio. We would love to see you again. Uh, it's nice having you nearby. And uh, we'll see you then. All right, pal. Thanks. All right. Be well. The Moody's airs Thursday nights on Fox.